This was definitely just going to be in the sideboard. If I have a lot of ground creatures, we side it in. I don't know if this clone shell is going to make it. We can do 16 lands with the two mirrors. It's kind of like we're having 17. We have two spell bombs and a whole order to draw us cards. I guess it's not the worst. But definitely not the best. We didn't get that blue. One four back, so that's like oh hello, <laughs> you you thought I'd forget you didn't you? <laughs> okay, uh, forgot about him. <laughs> Good thing I saw him. That would be pretty embarrassing. So we definitely need to cut a card now. And fifteen creatures. I don't want to cut an artifact, so that's just. Can't look at that. So I guess it comes down to Trinket Mage. Definitely not Trinket Mage. It has two spell bombs and a shield to get. So it's definitely not Trinket Mage. Replicas, I think fine. I think all of these are fine. So it comes down to Volution Reigns. Halt Order. And Disperse, I believe. Even, even Volition Reigns, yes. Um, I know what you're thinking. What? Volition Reigns? I can't be right. Well, you know, if you're taking dorks, you know, doesn't really do a whole lot. So, plus it's six mana. I don't know. Could be wrong. But I don't think it's Halt Order, so we're going to put that back. Uh... Well, how many equipments do we have? One, two, just the two. Do we really need Flying First Strike? We already have. This is pretty evasive. This doesn't really need First Strike. All these are pretty evasive. And yeah, it's cute to put it on a Foam Steed or Rusted Relic, but yeah, we have the Artisan to give them Flying, so okay. Opinions it is. This first comes back. Volition Rings comes back, and now we're at 24 again. Although I still kind of wish I could have 17 lands, even with the two mirrors. If I had that two mana mirror, I wouldn't even debate this, but I'd have to cut a card just to get that in there, too. I know I said I don't want to cut an artifact, but whatever. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I have 11 artifacts. Not that great, but not the worst. So I think we'll just play 16. Um, could be wrong. Play 1741, but that's even wrong. That's still wrong, too. Um, gosh, I really want this card in here, too. But we our 4-drop is pretty tied up right now. So, yep, 16 it is. 12-4, huh? Seems wrong too. There's no reason to play 12. We could play 11-5. We have Mirror. We definitely want to draw a card off that, so 10-6 10, 10 seems fine. 16 lands, man. You still gotta draw them, you know? This doesn't seem right. I'm not opposed to playing 41. I mean, now there is a... Uh... Oh, what's his name? No. Nasif. He plays 41 sometimes. Because I just really want that 17th land. Maybe I'm being greedy with this disperse or something. I don't mind this first. <sighs> yeah. Man. We still have plenty of things to plug up the ground. Hopefully. I mean, if we drop all of our high drops, we'll probably lose anyway. 
So yeah. If we really feel like we need a land, we'll add one. Okay. Uh, we will keep this in. He's on the play. Go ahead and have six. Oh no, Kingsford, oh no. We'll go ahead and play our spell bomb. A little laggy on my uh, um, old school's internet. So visiting my girlfriend while she's at work, I'm playing magic. Two fume spitters. No, no. No blocks. Uh, very good. I suppose we'll make a mirror and block. No reason to play this at all, so we're going to pass. Okay, drew land. That seems like an arrest target. Since we have nothing else to do, and we can't take three. Activated abilities cannot be played. I guess that's not an activated ability, is it? Oh well. Hmm. <sighs> We got okay. So we're gonna get a swamp here. Down to three cards, so there's that going for us. So it will be a three three. Next turn if he decides to equip. And we drew Um, a spell at least. Well, there's that. Could have metal craft if we had not blocked, but just as easily could have killed. Okay. We are at 14. Sweet. That is a good card. But we're just going to play this. And offer the trade if he offers it. Yep. And then next turn we can play Mirror and this. And equip. Oh man. 5-5 five, five Vigilance. I have eight vigilance. I can get shattered. <laughs> okay. No attacks, huh? Okay. Well.
Well, that makes things a little better, I guess, because um, that makes it a seven, and this can be only a five. So I don't mind going in on the uh, metal craft idea. And we're going to cast this plate on our school. That way, it can get in as well. Because as of right now, it cannot. He can block and trade wherever he feels like he wishes to. He wants to take the eight. Okay. Hmm. What is this monstrosity? Ah, okay. That is acceptable. What did you sacrifice? Oh, okay, right. So we take seven. We can block, but then we don't have metal craft. So that's not an option. So we kind of have to just take it here. Okay, that's good. So we can still have metal craft. Um, let's think about what we're doing here. We need to play this. I think one, two, three, four. Then. Hang on. I think we need to play the Sphinx so we can block uh, this dude because he's going to be pretty huge. I don't think we can attack either. Although we can chomp. I think here. Get him for five, that puts him dead to our Sphinx next turn. Okay, so that makes sense. But if he gets rid of our Sphinx, we are kind of screwed. The removal spell. But we're kind of screwed anyway if he does that. So, let's play this spell bomb. this Sphinx. I hope he doesn't have removal. Back for five. We can block and block. And because as of right now, if one of them gets through, we don't die. Unless this gets through. In which case, we die anyway. So he has to have removal. And three mana. In order. Okay. That's fine. This puts him dead to our Drake. So it forces him to have to trade. With this, if he doesn't have anything... In which case, we uh, 